Hey folks, um, so y'all have Chrome open, right? Uh, we want to just uh, pop open Chrome today and talk about this very low level thing we've got uh, called about tracing. Nice, friendly you know, UI here. Uh, let's just press record. Here's what I think about every day, smooth web pages. Uh, this is a CSS animation. It's, you know, it's pretty smooth, right? Uh, but don't believe me, measure it. Uh, tracing has been running. I press the record button. I get this picture. What this picture is, is everything that Chrome, all of Chrome's processes were doing. This is very, very low level. But what it's telling me is everything that was happening on, on the Chrome process and threads while that animation was going. Now, you don't need to be an expert in these to understand the basic uh, signs of smoothness. Now, your screen updates at 60 hertz, which is every 16 milliseconds or so. And so if you look at a recording and it's smooth, you should see this nice pattern where we see nice, regular heartbeat. And we don't even have to really know what that heartbeat is. You just want to see regularity. If you drag in this tool, you can end up seeing the distance between these. And in fact, it'll confirm, hey, these are 16 milliseconds apart. That's about our display rate, and that's about smooth. So why do we have this tool? Well, sometimes pages aren't smooth. So going back to this demo, uh, I've got this convenient don't be smooth anymore button, right? Um, you can see the animation is hitching as I'm pressing this button. If I go back to the recording that I had going while this was happening, you'll all of a, all of a sudden see that these, these nice regular uh, frames that we used to have, these nice regular periodic signal, all of a sudden there's some interruptions, right? Now the thing to draw your eye to if you ever bother to pop this thing open is the renderer main thing. And this is your JavaScript thread. This is where a web page actually runs its DOM and its JavaScript and all that. Um, and so if I look in, you just draw your eye to those janky bits, these, these interruptions in the regular flow, and zoom in, question mark button up here if you want to know how to zoom in, and uh, you'll end up finding something that's big. And if you just start stamping out these big things, Googling to find out what they are, your pages can get faster. It'll be painful because it's very low level information, but you can make things faster. And in fact, this is how we make uh, things on, say, Chrome Android faster. So don't take my word for it. Let's take a web page that's a little more real. Uh, so uh, I had this open. Maybe some of you did, too. Uh, it's always easy to beat up on conference websites, right? But <laughs> right, it's, you know, it's, uh, so anyway, I'll blow my six, seven minutes. So when I, was, when I was scrolling up and down on this, uh, I noticed that it, it felt a little, a little janky, uh, especially on a bigger screen. Um, I couldn't quite figure it. So don't believe it. Trace it, right? Hit record in your tracing, go back to your thing, scroll it up and down, right? Just, we're gonna get some good scrolling action going on there. Stop the trace, zoom in, right? Now remember, we used to see on that previous demo, we saw a nice regular. That's good regular rendering, right? Smooth. This, eh, not so much, right? Um, couple things that you wanna sort of look at here. You go, hey, what's big? Well, this is big, this is 15 milliseconds. Remember, we got 16 to be smooth, so this is blowing that whole budget right away. And then we also have these weird V8 call functions running. Well, we know V8, V8's Chrome's JavaScript engine, so something's going on there, maybe I should attack that, because if I draw a rectangle here, uh, we're using eight, 11 milliseconds on whatever that is, and we're also using 13 milliseconds on whatever this thing is. Well, 13, bigger than 11, let's figure out why we're painting. So when I see painting, I go back to the page and I go, hey, what, what do I see here that, that's changing when I scroll, right? Um, so usually it's not obvious, right? And so then what you do is you pop open Chrome DevTools and uh, just start hiding things. So we got a div here. Well, that, that's like the entire website, so there's no real point in hiding that. Like, not very good website if we hide that. But uh, we got this thing over here, this, this thingy on the side. So, you know, let's display none on that. Yeah, why the heck not? So I mean, it was a nice little button, and we've lost that UI. But let's see if uh, we're slow still. So a little canned. I know we're going to be better. But uh, scroll up and down, just like I was before. Let let Chrome think. So again, this lot more lot more regular, right? Your eyes can see that this is more more of a beat pattern now. And if I zoom in, we start seeing that old familiar pattern start reintroducing itself. About 16 milliseconds apart. Um, this thing was 10, it's back down to two. This is our, our painting, our painting time itself is down to only a millisecond. And we still have this nasty V8 stuff and we might wanna stamp that out as a, 
uh, exercise for the reader, but we're back to having a nice smooth website. So this is Chrome tracing. It's a very low level way to understand what a web page is doing. Uh, if you want to know more about it, go to jankfree.com. We got some links on info on that, as well as some other ways that are a little higher level uh, to make smooth animations and really awesome web experiences. Thanks.